Today we're learning how to crochet the herringbone double crochet. To begin, chain in multiples of 1 plus 1. Let's move on to row 1. So to begin you'll need to skip that first and second chain from your hook and crochet a herringbone double crochet in that next chain. So to crochet a herringbone double crochet, you'll need to yarn over once. Then insert your hook in that chain stitch, so remember the third chain. Yarn over and pull back through that chain stitch. You should have three loops on your crochet hook, so one, two, three. Then pull that first loop through the second loop. You should now have two loops on your crochet hook. Yarn over and pull through that first loop on your hook. Two loops left on your hook. Yarn over and pull through both of those loops at the same time. There you go, you've just created your first herringbone double crochet. Now you'll want to crochet another one in that next chain stitch. So remember, yarn over once, then insert your hook in that chain, yarn over, pull back through, three loops on your crochet hook. Pull the first loop through that second loop. Two loops left on your hook, yarn over and pull through that first loop. Two loops left on your hook, yarn over and pull through both of those loops. Perfect! So you'll want to continue crocheting one herringbone double crochet into every chain stitch all the way across to reach the end of this row. Once you reach the end of row 1, it's time to move on to row 2. To begin, chain 2. So 1, 2. Then turn your work so you're crocheting in the opposite direction. So the chain 2 counts as the first herringbone double crochet. Crochet another herringbone double crochet in that next stitch. So remember, to crochet a herringbone double crochet stitch, you want to yarn over once. Insert your hook in that next stitch, yarn over, pull back through, three loops on your crochet hook, pull that first loop through the second loop. You should have two loops left on your crochet hook. Yarn over once and pull through that first loop on your hook. Two loops left on your crochet hook. Yarn over and pull through both of those loops. There you go. Now crochet another herringbone double crochet in that next stitch. So yarn over, insert your hook in the next stitch, yarn over, pull back through, three loops on your hook. Pull the first loop through the second loop, two loops left, yarn over, pull through the first loop, two loops left, yarn over and pull through both of those loops. Perfect! So continue crocheting one herringbone double crochet into every stitch all the way across to reach the end of this row. Once you reach the end of row 2, crochet a herringbone double crochet in that turning chain. And you've just completed row 2, so you'll want to continue repeating row 2 until you've reached your desired length. This is how the herringbone double crochet starts to look after you've repeated row 2 multiple times. You'll immediately notice how this variation of the standard double crochet creates a lovely slanted texture, very similar to that of the knitted herringbone stitch. There's dozens of reasons why I love using this stitch, the main one being that I find this the ideal stitch for crochet newbies to give a go, as it is a fairly simple stitch to learn and master. Another perk about this stitch is that it is reversible, meaning that whichever side of your work is on display is guaranteed to always look beautiful, which works perfectly when crocheting those pretty shawls and chunky afghans. Be sure to check out my blog hopefulhoney.com for lots of free crochet patterns. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please thumbs it up, share and subscribe.